इन ईल्ड कर वी हैव अ प्लॉट के ऑफ द ईल्ड के सो यू हैव ईल्ड ऑन द वाई एक्सिस यू हैव अ प्लॉट ऑफ ईल्ड वर्सेस टाइम के नो प्लीज नोट दैट दिस ईल्ड वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट कैन बी योर ईल टू मेच्योरिटी ऑफ द बॉन्ड्स के थिंक अबाउट ईल टू मेच्योरिटी एज द इंटरनल रेट ऑफ रिटर्न दैट यू विल जनरेट इफ यू इन्वेस्ट इन अ बॉन्ड राइट नाउ डिपेंडिंग ऑन द टाइम राइट सो इफ यू हैव अ वन ईयर बॉन्ड के सो वन ईयर बॉन्ड कैन हैव सम वाई टी एम टू ईयर बॉन्ड कैन हैव सम वाई टी एम राइट सो यू कैन हैव लाइक एज द बॉन्ड मेच्योरिटी इज इंक्रीजिंग यू कैन हैव डिफरेंट डिफरेंट वाई टी एम right so this is the yield please note that the yield can also be a spot rate a spot rate is the rate at which you will invest for a particular time period okay but here the yield is it is focusing on the yield to maturity so what is the rate that you will get in a one year bond what is the rate that you will get in a two year bond okay whereas a spot rate would be similar okay so here we will say that it is a spot rate okay so what is the spot rate you will get if you invest in one year Okay, for one year. What is the spot rate that you will get for investing in two year? Spot rate that you will get if you invest for three year. Okay. Note that this spot rate we have taken as a increasing rate. This is the yield curve. Okay. So assuming that we are creating the spot yield curve, please note that the yield curve can be spot yield curve. It can be your YTM yield curve. It can be your forward curve. Okay. But most of the time, like here, we will focus on either the YTM. or the spot so these are the two yield curves we will focus on okay so with respect to time it is increasing that is like mostly you will see however the shape of the yield curve can be many right one is what we have is a flat yield curve that means it does not uh, matter what is the time okay so for all the time okay the interest rate is same so for all the time period you are getting the same rate so it's a flat yield curve okay the case which we have seen okay it is the upward sloping yield curve so this is upward sloping okay and this is what you will see normally so that is why it is also called as a normal yield curve okay then you also have a downward sloping yield curve okay so a downward sloping yield curve it implies that when the time period is increasing the interest rates are decreasing so this is also known as inverted okay this is the normal scenario and this is the opposite of the normal so it's a inverted scenario okay note that you can have a yield curve like this also it is a humped yield curve okay then you can have a uh, yield curve like u shaped also okay so these are some of the standard yield curve but please note that these are not the only yield curve that you can have you can have any shape of the yield curve you can have like this you can have like this okay whatever the shape you would want okay you want like this it can happen right so it is not that yield curve would be only this of shapes right that you have any shape is possible right but this is what these are the five shapes that you see uh, normally in your real life and with this this is the most important one right okay note that in this case of humped the short term rates and the long term rates are lower and the middle term rates are higher in this case the short term and the long term rates are higher and the middle terms are lower so it depends on the state of the economy you can have this different type of yield curve are possible